Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Rings of Power. This is episode five. I'm ready to jump right into it. This episode is called Partings or The Partings. Um, my name is Iman. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do this. Let's jump into this episode. You can find the unedited, uncut versions of these reactions on my Patreon if you'd like to find them there. Those links are in my description box below. And don't forget to leave a like on this video. It helps with the algorithm. All right. Let's see what this episode has to offer. Yes. I do enjoy this storyline. We winter in old forest. Um, Midsummer, we make for Northfield Blem to snail. Why are the snailings good? Snails, snails. Snails. <laughs> he loves snails. So the only trouble is there's a hundred perils between here and there. Perils? Hill trolls, cave trolls, <laughs> anything that'll kill you. Kill. No, oh, he doesn't know any of this. I'm Perry. Oh. <clears throat> Fireflies. That was just an accident. You're not a Perry. You're good. Oh, this is interesting. Good. You're good. I wonder if he doesn't remember. Because you're here to help. Because he could be here to cause mayhem, but he just doesn't remember. Her her influence might help him and to be a good a good person, maybe, but because he did the fireflies did die around him. The sun is fast falling beneath trees of stone. The this is so gorgeous. <laughs> I want to go here, just like lay down and roll in this grass. Oh man, that must... Well, thank God they've got the wizard man because they would have definitely been stuck. This is beautiful. I mean, just sit down over here, over the cliff. I would have done that. Just watch over and... Just look at the view. That not all who wonder or wonder That's a beautiful song. The lyrics are great. Whoa. What? Whoa. She gives me Saruman vibes, but I'm just... Whoa. So now they're on on their uh, path. They're going to follow them. We have been ordered to abandon this tower and swear fealty to their commander. Who among you will stand and fight? Just me? Okay. There we go. You must, you gotta fight. Stand and fight? Gandalf, where are you? <laughs> Stand and fight. You will die. Yeah, well, that's what happens. Follow me. Well, the friends are splitting up now. No, Theo. No, dude. You're your own man. Half the city wants a spot on those boats. Slip me to the front of the line. <laughs> I'm ready to serve. Nothing would make me proud. But you had your chance. Wow. And you made your choice. I feel like he's just gonna sneak on. Valadriel informed us of your aspiration to unite your people. <laughs> Did she now? Galadriel informed us. I wondered how the Queen knew to aid me at her father's bedside. Never occurred to me you'd hand me over for a guild crest. You use me. Mm. Find him the head to crown. I wonder if he just sees like his um he sees how he is. Like he knows his temperament and he feels like it's he's not kingly enough. Is that the the wolves? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh. I keep waiting for the some movement. Oh my gosh. 
Damn. There we go. See? He comes in handy. He's, he's taking him on, like, fist to fist. These wolves are crazy looking. <laughs> it's like, let's get the hell out of here. Wow. So that hurt him? Come at me. We will see who can score flesh. <laughs> Anyone that does, I will promote. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're out. Bye-bye. Next. <laughs> Don't plant roots. Keep me. <laughs> A nice spank there. She loves it. She's so this is like her cup of tea. She just loves fighting. Oh, but she well was okay. Lieutenant. Oh, there you go. Okay, I thought he was gonna come and be like, I'll try. I'm going to Middle Earth. Don't go to Middle Earth. All that awaits you there. What, Father, what awaits me? Yeah. It does seem Darkness. like. It seems like this whole show is about the dark coming about. Like, whoever this character is. Can you believe it? He's going to bring darkness. Halbrand is going to bring darkness. This whole thing is going to bring darkness. It's all these good people trying to do the right thing, but it's going to bring about the dark. Oh, wow. Hey. <gasps> what? Why would she put her fingers there? Oh my god. Sheesh. Yeah, this just seems like the whole... It's just all dark. This is gonna be a really tragic story. Damn, this sucks, because this, ah, oh man, we're just, it's so beautiful, and, and everything's almost perfect, but it's all gonna crash. From where did you procure the table? Oh. Why do you ask? This stone grows only at certain depths. We reserve its use for the most sacred purposes. Where'd you get the table? Who gave it to you? We shall have to send it home with you, so it can be treated with the proper respect. I don't trust him. Are you familiar with the song of the roots of Ithidlir? Recount it for me, please. It speaks of a battle high among the peaks of the Misty Mountains, over a tree within which some claim was hidden the last of the lost Silmarils. Oh. I was thinking that the, the stones, the Mithril stones, were the... Sil Silmarils, but... On one side fought an elven warrior, with a heart as pure as Manwe. On the other, a Balrog of Morgoth, channeled all his hatred into the tree to destroy it. Oh, man. <laughs> the forging of their conflict. A power. A power? Durim's right. Then you admit that dwarves did find it. The <gasps> ore containing the light of the lost Silmaril. Oh. What if keeping your promise to his people meant ensuring the doom of your own? Does Fianor's blood run through this man? Because if so, we are screwed. I know I just knew right off the bat. Like once this man was, you know, using Elrond as his ghostwriter, I was like, this guy, we can't trust him. Our decline has only quickened. Oh, I don't even know if you should touch that. That the light of the Eldar, our light, is going out. Is fading. 
Mm, so the dark dark ages are coming. And for the last time. So he wants to use the Silmarils the for dwarves find the orb for the tree or and to help. I, but I, I no. swore an oath. Don't tell him. It is by such things our very souls are bound. I do not intend to let mine slip away on the basis of mere hope. When all other senses sleep, the eye of hope is first to awaken, last to shut. I mean, that's beautiful. I mean, if he's going to use the Silmarils for good, then yeah, I get it. But it's still it's kind of, tr it's tough to trust him. Because I remember in the beginning, or where I'm at in the Silmarillion, they're going through the same issue. They needed the Silmarils to bring uh, back the light. Perhaps Isildur will sing with you. <laughs> they hate Isildur. Be interesting. <laughs> Poor Isildur. He seems so pathetic and sad. You're only apologizing because you think, now that I've been promoted, I can get you on the expedition. Can you? God, he's such a user. <laughs> Fine, you get a free hit. Your choice, one hit. <laughs> Three. Uh, two. Is this the same place where Halbrand fought that, those people? <laughs> this is the fighting zone. Yeah. He's he's a stowaway. He's such a brat. Oh, it's this dude. Toe for Grace. You, I don't know what is he gonna make. A, he's gonna do what? Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that oil? He's gonna light this place on fire. You're about to kill someone. You don't even realize that. Like, how are you so ridiculous? Oh, is Isildur in here? So yeah. Well, I was okay. Are you stowing away. <laughs> Are you lighting this on fire? I won't let anyone know. I saw you. Hand me the lantern. Dude, Don't. you guys, you're stupid. Isildur, you're really dumb. Why would you fight him with the... <laughs> what a dumb thing. Uh-oh. Oh, God. No way. Oh my god. Shit, a sealed door would have died. He saved my life. He could have just left, but he saved my life. Captain. Everyone's a liar in this show. I just don't know who to trust. Except that handsome, handsome man. Everyone else, I just cannot trust. I can trust Alron, the handsome guy, Galadriel. Stop fighting me, and together let us fight them. Not so long ago, men like me were fighting alongside them. You don't know what I did. Oh, God. Before I ended up on that run. Oh, goodness. Oh, so they're coming to say, hey, we'll serve you. No, oh. all survived. Oh, my God. Bending the knee. And when these people discover it, they will cast me out. Oh, my God. What the hell did he do? So will you. Oh my god, that makes me Sometimes worried. to find the light. Mm. We must first touch the darkness. I do love that quote. That's like, awesome. You're asking me to go to the one place that I swore never to return. Why do you keep fighting? Because I cannot stop. Oh wow. I mean, they have probably a lot more in common than they realize. There is no peace to be found for you here. And nor for me. No lasting peace in any path but that which lies across the sea. I feel like they're, she's um, a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is how you earn yours. Like she's bringing, bringing him to the place and then it just becomes, like he becomes Sauron or whatever. But it just seems so dark, like every story is actually quite dark in this. I pledge my loyalty to Sauron. Wow. Is he not for Sauron? That'd be interesting. You are Sauron, are you not? How 
I'll serve you then. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit, you have to kill him? Only blood can bind. Well, he'll do it. I mean, this guy is like, for, for sure. Almost done, I. Walter, no. This guy's no. out of his mind. No. No. No! Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, good! Oh my god! So this was Sauron's place? Oh! Stabbing a man! And <laughs> they really... He's like, give me that table! <laughs> At least talk to him about it. You made it up, didn't you? This has been wanting a new table for years, so... <laughs> ah, come on, it's not that heavy. It is not the weight of the table that burdens me. Owl's <laughs> beard! Enough with the quail sauce! Give me the meat and give it to me raw. <laughs> I did not know it. But I came for Mithril. <laughs> Without it, my kind must either abandon these shores by spring or perish. So the fate of the entire elven race is in my hands. <laughs> so it would appear. It better be the, like, it better, that guy, the king better use it for good. Is in your hands. He likes that. Whose hands? <laughs> Durin. Fetch your feathery shirts. Let's start walking. Durin. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> thank me after we find a way to convince my father. Right. <sighs> I'm just worried about every decision that's being made. It all seems beautiful. Everybody's like, yeah, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to Middle Earth. We're gonna, and then, but I'm afraid of the. I'm afraid of the. Everyone's agenda, basically. It's just like they're you. Everyone's using the good people and their good hearts right now. Okay. So he's going. Well, this is gorgeous. Wow, she looks amazing. <laughs> he looks great too. I just, I love her whole look. She's so beautiful. Her armor, like with the scales, I'll, I'll just never get over her outfits, basically. And uh, yeah, everyone has like the scales. That's so cool. Oh, this gives me um, the, the vibes of before um, when they were leaving Gondor. <clears throat> I, do, I love this song. Oh, wow. God, well, her armor is amazing. I mean, she... It's so interesting. I do love that they've made Galadriel this war-hungry person who just has a lot of PTSD and she's just in her darkness right now. Yeah, she's beautiful. We'll see what happens. Oh, I want that armor. <laughs> I just... I feel like that everything's gonna go to shit. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's... I mean, this is all about everyone making these decisions and people are hopeful as what is his name gil gahad as he was was saying hope is all we have and it's just like yes that's true but damn like everybody in this 
everyone's story is having like a moment of, are we doing the right thing? And are we helping the right people? And are they going to help and keep their word and then help and do with good? That's really like the question right now. And it looks like it's hard to really know, which I guess is reality of the world. Like you don't know. You, you can trust people and you should. You don't know whether or not someone will betray you. You don't know who people are. I mean, you genuinely don't. Anybody can change, you know? People, people have their own wants, needs, agendas, perspectives, and, and <clears throat> it's kind of a little bit naive to think that everyone is sort of on the same page as you, uh, and it's just not the truth. You would just hope that people are more on the good side of things. So you may not like agree with everything that someone believes, but at least you're like, ah, but I know that they're, they're, they're good. They're not like on the dark side completely, but it's like the king, the elf king. I don't know if I can trust him. Um, Hal Brand is showing that he, potentially we can't trust him. <sighs> Even like, so Muriel's father, who is like very much about the elves was like, don't go. There is only, you're only going to be met with darkness. And it does seem like that's what this, where the story is going. Nori helping this wizard. Um, it just, it all seems, it does seem like it's all going to go to hell. Um, and it's the good people that are being hopeful. And again, that's just, that's how life is. You should be hopeful. You should have hope. I, I think... So I'm in the beginnings of the Silmarillion. That's why I kind of was like, oh, okay, the, the Silmarils, that makes sense. The, I'm, I'm at that part of, of the story. But I remember when they, when they had first captured Morgoth or Melkor, they basically, and I, the Valar, they basically imprisoned him for like, who knows how long. Very, very, very long time. But then he had like this a re they reopened the case basically and <clears throat> my my girl Nina was like believed him or at least mourned for him and she was just like you know yeah this is he's for he's asking for forgiveness <laughs> but the the it was interesting some of the wording that was used like he cuz when Melkor came to the court he saw the elves and he was like felt hatred he felt envy. He felt like he wanted what they had and hate. It was like all these negative um, feelings and emotions came out of him. And but he was like, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm cha I've changed. I've changed. <laughs> and then it taught, there was Ma Manwe, who was pretty much like the head of the Valar, was like I, there was a part where it's, it's I don't know word for word, but it was some it said it said something along the lines of he trusted Morgoth or Melkor because he didn't understand. He could, his perspective was that he couldn't see that people could be evil within. He, he just didn't have that perspective. He had this very like pure heart. He can only see one way. So if someone asks for forgiveness, then they must mean it. He just didn't realize that there is some, some people are so far gone that they are, they're going to manipulate you until the very end and have hatred within their hearts and it's just this reminds me of that it's you just don't know who to trust but you hope that things are going to be okay and then it but yeah it definitely seems like this is going going to be an extremely just tragic story nori speaking to the wizard saying you you're good and he was like no i think i'm dangerous i'm a danger because i think he's he's he has some sort of amnesia he's not remembering things potentially but I think inherently, he's not good. Uh, and then those women, those, I, I don't know who they are, if they're wizards themselves, but they look sinister and they're looking for him. And maybe he landed somewhere uh, he wasn't supposed to. And they were supposed to like kind of, um, it kind of give him the, uh, what is it? Like they were supposed to find him and be like, okay, this is what you, the plan is. But he's found the Harfoots, which is just so interesting. 
because they're like the embodiment of pure and good. Like that's how I feel about hobbits. Like they're just really good. They're good folk and Nori especially. So I wonder if her good and her love will rub off on him and maybe he is supposed to do something evil, but it, it's just interesting. Yeah, so the, the story is going in a way that I, I, I really do like. Um, I also with the with the character Adar, he it almost seems like he doesn't follow Sauron, but maybe he does, but he's also not he doesn't like Sauron. Cause he was not happy with that one guy like brown nosing like that. He and when he called him Sauron, he was not happy about it. So it makes me interested in in his character. And he was saying something about he slowly is like the warmth is leaving him. So he's like, you know, transitioning into becoming a full orc. <coughs> so he's, he was probably a beautiful elf before. And maybe this wasn't necessarily his choice. He doesn't seem horrible. Like, it, like even when in the, I don't know if it was the last episode. I think it was where his, one of his fellow orcs was was dying he stabs him he puts him out of his misery and he has tears in his eyes so he's he's different definitely um and then what did halbrand do he did some really nasty shady things so we're gonna find that out and then the last thing is galadriel is a menace <laughs> that's what she basically is saying she's like i love to kill i i don't think i'm even doing this for my brother anymore i'm doing this for my own selfish desires i can't stop i just can't stop i'm in pain i'm angry the anger and the rage has taken over her and she's just she's addicted to this so that is it's it's beautiful because where we when we see galadriel again in the lord of the rings she's like completely different so i i want to see like her um transition into that but like it's cool to see that she was kind of unhinged before and in someone who's so powerful and, and beautiful as her can even go through the darkness and like that's that's a beautiful message that anybody can um be afflicted with pain and despair and and go to the dark side but you can come back out that's that's like a, a beautiful message of hope uh, so I, I don't know. I love it. I, this was a great episode. It is slow. I mean, I'm going to be honest there. It is slow. It is a slower burn. Um, but I'm okay with it. Like uh, for me personally, I understand if people are not and they're bored of it or whatever. I can understand that. I'm personally just, I want, I, I want to just be chill, right. And like, let the story show itself, tell itself. I think it's gorgeous. I love all the details. I love the dialogue. I love it all. So I'm, I'm enjoying it, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not like expecting a lot of craziness to, to, I mean, in the next few episodes, probably, but, um, yeah, I feel like if this, I understand some people's speed is different. They want something different, a different taste, and that's fine. I get it. But for me, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, but yeah, that's it. That's it. Is it just a, this was good. It was good. I, I do think this ends tragically. So, yeah. But I think there will be some good things that happen also, though. There will be good, but it'll kind of end on this cliffhanger of, like... I mean, who knows? There's only, I think there's only three episodes left. So, we may not get all the answers just yet. But, yeah. Okay. That's all for now. I shall see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching with me. Bye, everyone.